Ah, email. Okay, it was only just a nightmare. I was getting flooded by emails every time I tried to start or end an episode. It's only a nightmare. I hope. Hello guys, I'm Nuke here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pick Mario and the Dozen Your Door. In the last episode, we helped Don Kanta recover from his... Um... From, from missing Francisca and... We, we got that all sorted out and now we have tickets for this train. All I can ever think about is how the string cuts off, cuts through the wind as it races through, through planes, across planes, like torpedo on Earth, slicing through the relentless winds. Doesn't it just fire you up inside? I don't have money yet, but my dream is to ride this train one day. That sounds pretty fancy. Ah, there must be so many heartfelt reunions on this very spot. Uh, it's just deep, man. I love the dove. I think I'm gonna cry. Uh, you, you do that. Hi. This train is bound for luxurious, hushly heights. Will you be boarding today? Wonderful. If you don't mind, please let me check your tickets. Watch your set, please. All aboard! And, and so begins... Probably my favorite chapter in the game, to be honest. Chapter 6 Three Days of Excess. Ah, yeah, the Excess Express. This is so deluxe, man! The three days the Poshley Heights are gonna be over like that. Oh. Probably. Huh? Hey, you see that? Something's on the floor. Let that get there. What's it say? It's a mystery. Don't go to Poshley Heights. Get off the train now, or Sticky Yummy Doom awaits it! Whoa, what freaky fret? You don't think this could be Beldum's work, do you? Where the psycho is, you gotta figure out who's where they're figure they're on the bleh. Where the psycho is psycho is. You gotta figure they're on the strain, right? Gotta get this nut. Before anything bad goes down the strain. Oh yeah. Oh man. But not before I get my deluxe shine sprite! This place is very deluxe. There's a dried trim in the drawer. And we just take it, you know. It was probably very good earlier, but, you know. It's probably been sitting there for a while. Anyway, yeah, welcome to... Excess Express. It's a pretty fancy train, to be honest. I mean, look at us. We, we have freaking dining rooms and stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the dining car. We eat and stuff. Some people take this train just so they can eat our yummy, fabulous food. On this trip, we have a super famous actor aboard, Sip Toad. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm totally swooning. I hope, so hope he comes in here to eat soon. I I've never heard of this. Who is that? Hello, I'm Chef Shimi, the culinary expert. Glad to make your com a complaint, complaintance, com complaint, case. I mean, acquaintance. So sorry. Cheap cheap is my first language, you know. Today's lunch is so amazing, it'll make your tongue cry out in shame. Please do taste it, so my passion does not wetter alone in a pot of loneliness. Dang. We even have, we even have a fancy, fancy shop. Look at this. It's so fancy, we even have mystery boxes. That's how fancy this, this place is. It's exceeding with excitement and deliciousness. Uh, I guess we could see who else is on the train, if they don't mind. <sighs> it's a bumpy. I'm on my way back home. 
I have strayed so far, I have forgotten what it looks like. Yes! Yes! Penguins! It's actually funny because I'm recording this on Penguin Awareness Day. <laughs> oh! Oh yeah, I love these little guys. I love these guys too. Me? I have a very important deal to attend to once we arrive in Poshley Heights. Uh, traveling on business, so everything goes on the express expense account. Yes. There, the honestly, I'm gonna say it. These are one of the most underused Mario creatures, Mario species, whatever. Because I'm pretty sure they only appear in this game. It's kind of a shame because they have such a cute design. Yeah, bub, and we're getting a pre birthday present for me. It'll be cool. Aren't you jealous? Oh yeah, you guys are from. The, the 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 battle place. We're on route to Poshley Heights to buy a proof they get for our little bub here. <laughs> my my my. Oh, you are the champion of the Glitzbits, are you not? Yes, the Great Gonzales. Man from Poshley Heights. Well, it is certainly a, thing, a place for a celebrity like you. Oh wow, they even remember me. That's cool. I mean, I'm not that fancy, but you know. Hello to you, and welcome to Excess Express. I'm the conductor of this train. And I trust you must be Mr. Mario from Room 5? Make yourself at home, sir. What's that? Some sort of sticky oink fret? I, I see. Goodness, good gracious me. If I hear anything else, I will let you know immediately. Okay. Well, that's been solved. Now we can explore the rest of the train. I assume. Oh, what's going on here? Hello? I thought I was going to have a nice lunch with my expense account. Rats. This is true and unfortunate. Almost tragic, really. So, what's going on? Hmm. Yes. I can say with that slight hes hesitation that this smells like a case to me. But what shall we call it? That is the question before us. Yes, what to call it? Yes! The case of the pot of stepper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that will do nicely. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a fully fledged mystery, one that impacts you all. Oh no, a mystery! A mystery, you just said? And, um, uh, uh exactly. What kind of dish is that? I am known as Pennington. You likely would not guess it, but I am a detective. At the risk of immod immodesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. And, these little con and this little conundrum, my dear passengers, poses no challenge to me. A essential clue to this case, and also the most vile one, as it happens, is that our, per per is that our perpetrator took the whole pot, stew and all. And this, esteemed friends, leads me to believe that the one responsible is you, you gluttonous woman! What? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Mm. Pardon me, sorry. Please accept my apologies, my dear woman. I felt I needed to practice my accusation skills, you understand? Yes, sorry. <clears throat> Very good. Now, let's get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case of worthy of my intellect. Hmm, yes. Let me get this straight. So, what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And, uh, I guess that's about it, right? Ah, uh, this thing is totally squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my room. Hmm? You there. In a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, huh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I have just broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zipto the actor. Zipto? The Zipto? No. Way, Mr. Detective Person. 
You're just making stuff up, you... You tweedly geezer! Tweedly... Geezer? Geezer? I cannot deserve... I cannot say I deserve such verbal thrashing, but... Well then... Who did do it, hmm? Hmm. <laughs> this puzzle deepens with every confounding step. Well, um... Mysteries abound! My magnificent stew. True. I mean stew. Why? Why? This case is totally like way out of control. So lame. Uh. You know my whis whiskered friend? You've been hovering rather suspiciously, haven't you? I find that rather suspect. Highly suspect indeed! People, I've apprehended the rogue. Yes, I've broken this case wide open. And he has been sulking around this entire area the whole time, under our very noses. The pop supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously bandit is you! You're not the bandit, you say? Hmm. Indeed, you would say that! Well, if you're not in fact the crook, then perhaps you could prove your innocence by searching for the real perpetrator, and then we will know it's not you. Fair? I mean... Hmm... Something tells me that this trail of whatever might be something. A clue! There are traces of something on the carpeting. Even the gang doesn't know. Whoa, this looks like spilled stew on the carpet. Nasty, I almost stepped in it. We can't just follow we can just follow this trail to the thief, don't you think? You know what? It might even be the nut who even made the sticky on my fret. It makes me say that. If you still you probably do better stuff, right? Um probably. I don't know. I'm not an expert in this sort of thing, so you know. Hmm. Hmm. Continues on, but what's in here? Nothing. Hmm. A trail leads here. Oh. Oh. Hi. Whoa, 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 whoa. what do you want? <laughs> That's my tenth ever noise, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Now, what were you just saying? A pot from the kitchen? Oh, I get. Who gets stolen, you blame the chubby guy. Not nice. What? Drops a stone on the floor outside. N no. I wouldn't know anything about that. No. People spill stuff. There's nothing in that drawer, so no need to look. You'll find a thing. Well, who am I if I just open it? There are several gourmet food magazines here. And one of them is an issue devoted to the food of the Excess Express. There's a large photo of Chef Shimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. There's something underneath the magazines. Found it. Oh. Dempty. Oh! I'm sorry! It all it was me! <laughs> So, you're the one. So you're the enamored of the stew that want you wanted to steal to the it's devoured more. I cannot speak. And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots. Answer. Yes, yes, that's right. I'm so sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never reoccur. Recur. And you, my dear sir? Yes, you with the uncapped facial hair. My keen sleuthing instincts identified you as the correct person to color this ruffian. Now, about that note in your room. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on the train, the conductor confined it, con confided to me. But we cannot speak in here, so find me in my room in room six so that we may discuss this in private. Oh, and please return to the pot to the shelf if you could. 
Well, this is certainly something. Sorry for causing all this commotion. But man, that soup was scrum diddly umptious. I can't wait for dinner. That face is the face of a food eater! Aren't we all? Um. <laughs> yeah, let's get this. <laughs> let's get this pot back to Shimi. Hi. How are you? You found the bad guy. That's so totally amazing. I mean, I guess. So you found the beef. Or wait, I, I mean, the thief. I'm so joyful. Ah, sir, you are the hero of my world. You have even brought my pot. It's empty, of course, but it's mine. I love it. Thanks to you. From me. Here's just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please fake it. Uh, why am I... Ch Mine must like butcher this bling so, so shameful. Please take it, I mean. Hey, Starbeast, fancy. Thank you. Fancy, fancy, fancy. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going room to room. Now, I guess we're going to talk to Pennington. Aha! Uh -huh. I've been waiting. I was more impressed with your look in the last case, I must admit. However, I do not think you, the one you apprehended, is our sticky, I mean, malcontent. I have deducted this from any lack of incriminating clues in his room. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it's the side then. I shall take you on as my new assistant. Me? To reiterate, my name is Pennington. I am detective from Poshley Heights. I am known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. I am sure you have heard of me, so that is all I will say on the subject. And as for your name, wait, I demand you do not tell me. I shall sit. I shall sit. I shall sh 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 sh. I shall deduct your identity. That mustache. That nose. <laughs> All too easy. You, sir, are quite f obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? <laughs> no need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. Now about this threat. Our man has declared to his intent to yummify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion. The family bub -ups. They're definitely suspects. Now, Luigi. We will reduct this case to room dimensary facts and deduct the truth. Deduce the truth. They keep now, Luigi. Our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. Stick. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, sure, if you just want to blame the Baba. Oh, it's. It's, pr it's getting pretty late. But, you know, let's definitely blame the people that can explode. Oh. Well, they sure are fighting right now. Mom and Dad are fighting about what to get me for my birthday. I'm so bored. I wish I'd brought my GBA. Boy! We need to get with the time. Scan Nintendo Switch. That, that, that'll, that'll definitely be outdated in... the next decade, I'm sure. I think we should get a little Bob the advanced learner's class for Bomb Bobbery. Two words. Cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house. Bob is too small for such things as gold, Bob. Stop thinking of your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him, honestly. Pfft. No any of that stuff they're talking about. Hey, mister. Are you a detective now that you've quit being a champion? Well, so... Think you can detect what you really want for my birthday? Sure. Really? Cool. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Here's a hint. It starts with an A. Got it? Hmm. What well, starts with an A? That's that's truly a mystery. The thing that young Master Bob wants most? Well, let us the the deuce, shall we? Why, is rudimentary! He wants a Game Boy Advance, my dear Luigi. 
Because that, my friend, is what young children this age crave about all things. Above all things. About all things. And but both. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get a uh, Game Boy Advance in here. Sure did want a Game Boy Advance, though. Is there anything in here that might tickle his letter A fancy? No. Does not look like it. Maybe someone here can help? Yeah, it's about the f this thief. I'm actually pleased that he craved my stew enough to steal an entire pot. My heart is just filled with anger, filled with no anger, but rather the warm broth of satisfaction. The warm broth of satisfaction. You're so totally bagged at the chubby guy in regular time. I was way impressed. Hey, come think of it. I could use your skills. Could you help me? Uh, sure. Really? Wow, okay, so I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me, and they're like totally full of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something? Please? Ain't hey, any hey, idea where they could be. I mean, I I'll try and find them. I'm sure they're on the train somehow, somewhere. Hmm. I kind of want just like to look around the entire place. I don't know. Hey, how are you doing? Same stuff. Okay. Yeah. Food things. I think you can roll under the beds. No, not that one. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. What's in here? We haven't seen here. Oh, there's more car train holes! That's fancy. Hello. Well, hello there, you fine specimen spe specimen of a man, you marvelous steer. You, 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 you're marvelous, dear. You solved a rather little tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well done. You're so regularly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well? Wow, a lot of people are really wanting my help. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Could you help please hasten the search along for me, you boldly brilliant man, you? Man, people are missing a lot of stuff on this train. What are you doing? Losing your stuff on like a three, three, three day train ride. What this a little bug kid one as a present? Uh, well, I'm sure you'd be so to have an autograph of mine, right? Oh man, don't they all? You can't do it, unfortunately. I only shine for tick chicks. Um, I mean. Maybe you can sign for someone here. I don't know. Uh, how, how about Flurry? No, not even Flurry. Gosh, that's just mean. That's the door to the exit. You only got there. That's dangerous. Anyway, uh, hi. Running the stream during the sunset is the high point of every day for me. So let's all hear it. From the XX Express, huzzah! Huzzah! Okay, well, uh... Hmm. Question is... What do we get? Uh, an autograph would probably do it. But we can't exactly... get his autograph because he only signs for... ladies. Well, it's just kind of troublesome. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll try and figure this all out. Next time on Let's Play Paper Mario in the Dozen Year Door. Yes, I'm totally ending off the party off because I am not really sure what to do right now. Strange, isn't it? Actually, what do you have to say? I was really looking forward to plopping that stew on my expense account. Oh well. I'll just find the next most expensive thing on the dinner menu. Oh well. Maybe... M may maybe... Bub won the friends that he made along the way. Here's your second hint. It's a certain person's autograph. Now you got it, don't you? 
Okay, yeah, he definitely wants an autograph, but question is how are we gonna get that? Who knows? Oh. Oh! Mario, darling. Don't you think that perhaps that young child wants something from someone he's in he admires? Whatever he craves, he must find it before the string goes yummy and sticky. Well, um... Now I'm certainly aware of it. Because, you know... Of course that dude would hear all the stuff. He's sitting right there. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I was getting the power off, but I mean, I might as well... You know... Get... This... Done... Real fast. I'm sure, I'm sure the earrings and the gold ring are somewhere on the stream, though. But man... It sounds like he, ri he likes trains. Hi. You're my autograph, sir. Oh, it's for a little bub. Well, yes, of course. Here you are, sir. Aw. Gosh, I've never given out an autograph before. It felt fantastic. Aw, you just made a little kitty's day, sir. Let's go get that thing to him. Yeah, this chapter is kind of laid back, to be honest. For the most part. Because, for the most part, you're just do doing stuff and talking to people. And honestly, it's kind of nice. I, ca I personally enjoy the relaxed nature of this chapter. I mean, besides the sticky, yummy, doom threat. So, did you bring me the thing I wanted most? Here you go. Hey, yeah, bingo, master. M master, no. No, that's that's definitely not what the kid said. Here's something for you, just like I said. A shine sprite, how fancy. Thanks for the autograph, I'll take good care of it, I promise. Well, I think we should skin, still get in the classic series of Bomb Ombre. Man. They are not gonna stop. Yeah, now it's nighty night time. I guess we could tell Pennington that we did our job. So, is it an autograph? Was it, Luigi? Hmm, yes. Just as I su suspected. Oh, the conductor just came by looking for you, Luigi. This smells of the new mystery. Conductor, huh? Conductor! The conductor! What's up, man? What's going on? Mr. Mario, I'm glad you spoke to me. I just remembered something suspicious. I found myself in one blanket short while I was hang handing them out to passengers. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exactly... I have the exact blanket counts, which means someone came on board without a ticket. That stowaway might just be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but I'll get my blanket back. I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. If you could look for the unticketed passenger and get that blanket, I'd like... i thank you. Call me Blanket P.I. Honestly? Great, thanks. Well, I have to keep watch here, but I'll be waiting for the good news. Well, we're gonna be doing that next time on Let's Play Paper Mario in the Thousand Year Door. And, you know, we'll let Pennington know of this new mystery. It's totally suspenseful. Thought we are done with our mystery hunting days from Glitch Pit? Heck no. The mystery has only begun. See you guys then! <laughs> <laughs>